What's up, guys? This is D Brown with Trackheads. I'd like to welcome you to a new episode of Trackheads. Today, we'll be doing a workout. So this workout is going to be very simple. It's going to be basically a, a basic beginner's workout intro to working out. Okay, intro to strength exercises. I'm um, learning how to do certain techniques right. Learn how to do certain exercises right. Um, to the fullest of, of of the exercise, right? Making sure that we do it uh, properly so we don't get injured. All right, I'll be showing you how to warm up. I'll be showing you certain certain drills to do. I'll be showing showing you the extent of the workout. The workout is very uh, doesn't take a lot of time. Okay, it's very uh, you know small period of time that it really takes, but it's a quality period of time that um that you're gonna be doing this workout in. All right, so um after that we're gonna be doing a cool down and we're also gonna be doing a stretch. So um this the whole workout should really just take, I want to say 10 to 15 minutes. It doesn't take long. Um, I'm making this specifically for someone. So if you hear me giving certain uh, descriptions and details about how to do the workout, just understand that it's for a specific person. But this is uh, certainly a workout that you can try at home. If you're trying to build up leg strength, if you're trying to strengthen your core, if you're trying to do, um, you know, start your journey when it comes to fitness or, or start your journey when it comes to performing certain exercises, okay? So with that being said, let's get started. We're gonna start with a warm up. The warm up is gonna take anywhere from two to three minutes. It's gonna be a simple jog. Um, and I will start doing that right about now. All right, guys, so I just started my two minute jog, okay? And with this jog, only thing that you're doing, you know, is just getting the body nice and warm, getting the blood rushing through all parts of your bodies, your legs. No part of this warm-up should hurt, okay? It's very, very simple, easy jog. You wanna make sure you're breathing properly in through your nose, out through your mouth. If for some reason you can't focus on jogging for two to three minutes, you can always listen to music. Um, like I said, very, very simple, easy jog. I'm not gonna make it hard. It's supposed to be very easy, okay? And just make sure you have good breathing. You can do this outside in the backyard on the treadmill. If you don't like jogging, you can be on the cycle. Okay, it's very simple, very easy. Shouldn't take a lot of energy out of you. It's especially when it's this beautiful outside. Look at that. Super beautiful. I'm really just jogging back and forth for about two minutes. I'm a minute, 21 seconds in. Keep jogging. I'm gonna go through this whole workout with you guys. So there shouldn't be any inconsistencies with how you feel. I'm gonna be feeling it too. Okay, we have 20 seconds left. Let's finish it up. Ten seconds with two minutes in. All right, dope. That's the two minute warm up jog. All right, you should be feeling a little bit of sweat. But like I said, we're not done with the warm up. That's, that's just the jog. So now we're about to do some warm up drills, and uh, we should be good from there. All right, guys. So we just finished the two minute run. Okay, very easy, very simple. The next thing that we're gonna have is a brief warm up. Okay. Um, first thing we're gonna start off with is called side to side shuffle. So we're gonna start here. It looks like this. You're just gonna side to side shuffle, back and forth. So it looks like this. You're gonna go down, maybe like 10 yards or so. And then you're gonna come straight back, okay? Very simple. You wanna be on the balls of your feet. You wanna keep it nice and light. The next thing that you're gonna be doing is called hamstring scoops, three steps in between. You stick your leg out, let me move out a little bit. One second. You stick your leg out and you scoop. You're gonna feel it in the back of your hamstring. So right leg forward, scoop. You walk three steps, then left leg and then scoop. You're gonna be doing that going all the way down. So it looks like this, scoop. One, two, three, scoop, one, two, three, and then scoop. You're gonna be doing that going down and then coming back, you're gonna have quad pulls three steps in between. It looks like this, 
pull, walk three steps, pardon me. So yeah, you walk three steps and then you pull again. So I'm gonna do hamstring scoops going down, quad pulls coming back. You should feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. Okay, you can do it for about 10 yards or you can do three legs each. You stretch your front leg. This is gonna be my third one. Okay. And then coming back, you're gonna have quad pulls. Boom. Other side. Boom. Other side. Boom. And then boom. Then after that, you're gonna have lunges. Okay, lunges are very simple. Okay, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. You want your lunge to look like this. We don't want our knees to be super forward. We want our lunge to be like this. The knees should be right over the ankle, okay? This knee should be down. It shouldn't be like this. It should be like that, okay? So when you do your lunges, keep it nice and simple. It's gonna look like this. Boom. Boom, I'm gonna do it one more time for you. Boom. Boom. You're gonna do it going down for about 10 meters or 10 yards. And then coming back, you're gonna have what I call side uh, lunges. Side lunges are very simple. You spread your legs out, lean to the right. You should feel the stretch in your inner thigh groin area. Lean to the left. You should feel the same stretch in that area. And then you're gonna cross over and then do it again. Just like that, okay? So like I said, we're gonna have forward lunges going forward side lunges coming back let's get it okay i'm gonna do two more i usually do three per leg if i'm doing 10 yards like i said coming back you have side lunges left to the right cross over left the right and when I'm doing my side lunges I make sure that my feet are flat very simple you want to feel this stretch all on your hips all on your hips make sure your feet stay flat boom boom good job all right and then after that we have forward arm rotations very simple drill all we're going to be doing is moving our arms like this okay we're gonna do it five times and then backwards five times. Okay, very simple. Very, very simple. So I'm gonna go forward first. I'm gonna do it five times. Three, four, five. And then turn around. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, very simple. And then after that, I'm just gonna jog back. Cool. Then finally, the last draw I'm gonna be doing is called jumping jacks. Okay, very simple, I'm gonna just do 20. I'm gonna just do 20 jumping jacks, and that's gonna be the last part of the warm-up. By this time, you should be a little bit sweaty, right? The heartbeat should be pumping a little bit. You should be, you know, nice and warm for the actual exercise that's about to happen right after this, all right? So 20 jumping jacks, ready, go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. All right. You should have no pain, no issues. You should have no pain in your back. You should have no pain in your lower back, no pain in your legs. You should feel nice and warm. All right. Um, a lot of times when you do this warm, you can do it on like something a little bit softer. I'm on concrete right now. You can always do it on grass, turf, um, anything that makes your body feel good. All right, we're about to start the workout. Uh, you can get a sip of water if you need any. If not, we're gonna get started. Give yourself maybe a minute and let's get started. All right, so welcome back. We are about to start the workout. The workout, like I said, is gonna be pretty simple, okay? We have four exercises. We're gonna have one circuit, four exercises. The first exercise is gonna be squats, okay? Squats are very simple. Um, I'm gonna just go through the exercises and then we're gonna go over how each of them look, okay? So we're gonna have squats. We're gonna have lay, uh, what I call lying knee raises. And then after that, we're gonna have reverse lunge to knee drive. And then after that, we're gonna have front planks, 
all right? So we're gonna have squats times 10, lying knee raises times uh, 15. Then we're gonna have reverse lunges times eight, each leg to knee drive. And then we're gonna have planks is gonna be for about, front planks is gonna be about for 30 seconds, all right? We're gonna have two sets of those, two minutes rest in between back to back to back when it comes to those exercises inside of the circuit, all right? Very simple. So before we get started, I'm gonna show you how uh, each exercise looks, okay? So we can do it with proper form. So when you do your squat, right, you wanna make sure that your feet are flat, okay? We don't wanna be on our toes. Make sure your feet are flat, your heels are down, okay? Hands are out, very good form, core is tight, back is straight, good posture. You lower and then explode up. Make sure you squeeze your glutes on the way up, all right? So down explode up we don't want to be bent over like this we don't want to be leaning back we want to make sure our core is nice and tight our hips are engaged good posture okay down and back up make sure you squeeze your glutes on the top all right we're going to do that times 10 all right so let's do it for right now three two one let's get it that's one that's two that's three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. And one thing about this squat, you don't want your knees to come in. Make sure your knees stay out. Your feet are slightly outwards, so you have good form when you're doing your squats, all right? Next thing we have are lying knee raises. You're going to go on your back. Very simple. Go on your back. So with lying knee raises, it's very simple, okay? You're gonna have your feet at six inches, core is gonna be tight, okay? You bring your knees to your chest, back out. Knees to your chest, back out. Now you have an option to either have your hands under your butt, right? Your hands at your side, your hands under your neck. For if you're a real beginner, I would recommend having your hands under your butt, okay? Six inches, back out. So that's three. That's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight. Make sure your toes are up. That's nine, keep your core tight. That's 10, that's 11, that's 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job, pretty simple, right? Cool. All right, and now that that is finished and your core should be a little bit tight, it should be, you know, active, it should feel great, all right? You should feel everything in, the, in, that, in that front part of your core. You're gonna stand up and you're gonna do reverse lunge to knee drive, okay? Reverse lunge to knee drive is a pretty simple exercise, okay? All you're gonna do is stand forward. You should be only, only able to see my legs right now, okay? You're gonna stand straight up, big knee, big toe. You're gonna lunge backward, make sure this front knee you know, isn't too far forward. And then you're gonna drive up, back and drive up. So when you're doing this exercise, you wanna make sure that your knee is not hitting the ground and you're exploding up, okay? That's five, that's six. You wanna make sure your core is nice and tight. You don't wanna be leaning forward, right? You wanna make sure you're nice and tall, okay? I always tell all my athletes and people I train, when you're working out, you wanna be 6'5". You wanna have the posture of someone who's 6'5". So whether you're 5'1", 5'9", 5'8", you're 6'5". Okay, everything is coming from your hips. I believe that's eight. Okay, now we're gonna do the other leg. Very simple. Big knee, big toe. Down, back up. Now, if your balance is an issue, take your time. You know, we're not here to rush. We wanna make sure we're doing it right. Okay, so big knee, big toe, back. Big knee, big toe, back, okay? We wanna make sure that we're doing it to the best of our ability. So even if it's a little shaky, it's gonna get better. We wanna stress out these muscles to get them stronger so that they're activated, especially for all those who like to sit down for long periods of time because of work, virtual working and stuff like that. It's a good exercise. All these are great exercises to kind of reactivate these muscles. So I believe that's seven or eight, okay? So that's what reverse to lunge, excuse me, reverse lunge to knee drive looks like. You wanna make sure you do it with great form. You do it how you're supposed to, all right? Next exercise is gonna be front plank. 
front plank is very, very, very simple, okay? All you're gonna be doing is coming here. You're gonna be on your forearms, okay? Make sure your core is nice and tight. You don't wanna dip your body down. You don't wanna toot it on up. <laughs> Keep your body straight, core tight, glutes tight, okay? If you, if I, my shirt is nice and tight, you see my core is tight, all right? And you wanna just stay there and keep it up, keep it steady. It's okay if you shake, just control your breathing. And you wanna keep it there for about 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds, keep it tight, keep your butt tight, keep your glutes tight, keep your core tight. It's okay if you shake. You can put on some music to distract yourself. And then once the 30 seconds are up, you drop, okay? Give yourself about two minutes rest and do it all over again, okay? Very simple circuit, literally takes you four minutes, five minutes at the most. Okay, three to five minutes it should take you. Give yourself two minutes rest in between, two to three minutes rest in between, but should, you really should only need about two minutes. There's nothing in here that should get you too out of breath. The reverse lunge to knee drive is probably the most um, energy costing uh, work, uh, exercise in here, okay? Just make sure you do all these exercises to the best of your ability. Um, Give yourself two to three minutes rest in between. You should be doing two sets, okay? Two sets. Um, but really, you can start to build on, build up, build on to these sets, all right? Two sets today, next week, three sets, next week after that, four sets. And it's something that you can continue to build to build up the strength in your legs, build up the strength in your core. Um, very, very simple and easy workout, all right? So give yourself two sets today. Um, and then after that, you're gonna be cooling down and stretching. I'm gonna go after, I'm gonna go over that um, right after this. Okay, so finish it up, get a sip of water, knock out your next set. I'm not gonna be doing it with you, you're gonna be doing it by yourself. And then we'll go to the cool down and stretch. See you soon. All right guys, so um, I'm hoping that you did finish that second set and it wasn't too bad, but it should be, you know, it should be pretty simple, all right? So now that you're done with the warm up, or excuse me, now that you're done with the actual workout, you can go get a small sip of water, all right? And we're gonna be starting uh, your cool down and stretch so a lot of people like to skip the cool down and stretch but it's the most important one of the most important things that you can do in your workout because you are now telling your body that hey i am done with the workout um i want you to relax begin recovery um and they also prevent a lot of cramps a lot of uh calf soreness a lot of uh, sorenesses whether it's in your calves hamstrings glutes if you happen to be tight not flexible that's part probably part of the reason why okay you're not stretching you're not cooling your body down um it also helps to prevent injury as well and sorenesses throughout the workout so like i said with the cool down i usually like to walk around you can jog around i usually like to do it for like a minute or so get the heart rate down um right get nice and relaxed get nice and recovered and then after that we can start the stretching all right so the stretching is very simple um, I, I really like to break it down into like maybe 10 exercises at the most okay 10 seconds each the last exercise is 20 or the last stretch is 25 seconds i'm gonna show you the good uh way to do it to make sure that you're not injuring yourself to make sure that you're on point all right so just bear with me we're about to go over it in a second do not force any of the stretches that you see here today okay take your time breathe in and out if you feel tightness just stay right there um, if you haven't been stretching and you're not flexible uh like i said it's, it's a day by day process you will get more flexible but um it's not going to take it's not going to be one day okay it's going to take some time but do not force any other stretches that you see here today make sure you breathe in and out we don't want you to get injured all right so take your time we're about to start in three two one all right guys so we're about to start the stretching all right very simple stretches the first one is going to be feet together straight down all right these stretch out the hamstrings you want to do it for about 10 seconds or so i'm gonna guesstimate to see how long it actually takes me all right i'm actually going to time how long this whole stretching process takes to okay shouldn't take any more than five to six minutes after that we have right over left okay you want to stretch down make sure your feet are flat 10 seconds all right you should feel this a little bit in your calves and hamstrings of your left leg okay it's right over left you should feel it in your left leg all right after that left over right down same thing you should feel the a little bit more of the stretch in the right leg this time all right do not force anything all right even if you're stretching all the way up here that's fine just as long as you feel it in your hamstring do not force it all right now we're going to straddle they call this straddle stretch i call it spread your legs out <laughs> all right you want to lean to the right first make sure your legs are straight okay 
Legs are straight. You don't want them to be bent crazy. You don't want to do this. Keep your toes straight and then lean to the right. 10 seconds. You should feel the stretch in the hamstring. It's okay to slightly bend your knees. You don't want to lock them out per se, but you just want to make sure you don't uh, bend them excessively, all right? Now you're going to lean to the left. And if you notice, as I'm talking to you guys, you hear me probably breathing, all right? You want to make sure you're breathing, not holding your breath. Okay, the muscles respond really well to deep breathing, deep breaths, deep breaths. They relax even more. If you hyperventilate and do stuff like that, they stay tight, okay? So do not force it, easy breathing, and they're gonna relax a little bit for, more for you. When you hit the middle, you can spread your legs out a little bit more, and then stretch down, 10 seconds. You should feel the stretch on both your hamstrings, even a little bit of your groin, okay? Even a little bit of your groin, so good stretches, good stretches, good stretches. All right, so this next one is a little bit more advanced. I call it Spider-Man, all right? So some of you may be able to do it, some of you may not be able to do it, but we're just gonna see. If you feel any discomfort in your knee area, you can skip it, all right? So first thing I do is I get into a nice little squat. I'm on the balls of my feet. I put my hands down and then I stick my leg out. Now I look like Spider-Man, right? Okay, left leg out and you're gonna feel the stretch and part of your hamstrings and the inner part of your thigh, the groin or adductor, all right? You're gonna feel it over there. And if you grab your toe, you may even feel a little bit in your calf as well. If you feel any discomfort in your knee, it probably means your quads are tight or your knee uh, is tight. And if that's the case, then you can skip this whole entire exercise altogether, okay? You retract that leg back in, stick your right leg out and do the same thing, Spider-Man. for roughly 10 seconds, grab onto your toe. Okay, and then the next thing is going to be sumo, right? So you go into that same squat, except now your legs are flat. Now your toes, or excuse me, now your feet are flat. You should feel this stretch in your groin area, your adductor area, right? You should get a nice little stretch in that area. All right, you should feel good, move around a little bit, hands out, and then stand up, no hands, all right? Next thing is gonna be quad pulls. So all you do is just pull on your left leg. Nice stretch there. You should feel the stretch in your quads, obviously. Okay, you can squeeze your glutes, bring your hips forward to feel that stretch a little bit more. You might even feel something in your hip flexor, right? Then you're gonna drop it. And the next thing is gonna be the right side. And the same thing, you're gonna feel a stretch in your quads. Make sure you're upright. I don't want you leaning forward or leaning back. You're nice and tall you should look like a flamingo <laughs> right after that now you're gonna have lunge stretch so lunge stretch whoo, it's pretty simple good balance get that knee down you may shake a little bit which is fine but make sure that your knee is right over your toes all right make sure your knees right over your toes you can have your hands in the sky hands on your chest but do not touch your legs let your legs do the work then you're gonna switch sides Okay, good stretch in your hips. Okay, good stretch in your hips. You're gonna do it for 10 seconds. You should feel the stretch in your hips, and then you're gonna drop, okay? Shake your legs out a little bit. I can't do this stretch here per se, but if you have access to a wall or a pillar, you're gonna be stretching out your calves. So if we're stretching out the right leg, and let's imagine there's a wall here, you're gonna push against the wall. Your heels are gonna be touching the ground. It's gonna be for 10 seconds, okay? Then after you do that 10 seconds for that same leg, you're gonna bend your knee slightly. Heels are gonna come up, then you're gonna stretch the bottom part of your calves, okay? You gotta do that for both sides. So if I were to switch, left leg back. Now my heels are down, I'm pushing against an invisible wall. I look like a mine. <laughs> yeah, you're pushing against an invisible wall or a actual wall, for me it's invisible. Then you're gonna bend your knee slightly, lift your heel up. Now you're stretching the bottom part of your calf. Okay, very, very simple exercises. After you're done with that for 10 seconds each, you take your right arm, put it in a chokehold. This is right arm over your chest. This would be for 10 seconds. Okay, you should feel the stretch all in your, I think they call these the delts, right? In your shoulder area, okay? Very good for those of you who like to sit in a, in a, uh, in a chair all day, right? Those shoulders start to come forward. It's an excellent exercises to, exercise to kind of stretch it out. Then you're gonna switch to the other side. I ain't gonna lie, this feels so good right now. Oh. And sometimes you don't have to, you know, work out 
in order to stretch as a cool down you know you can stretch before bed you can stretch during different points of the day it's very good for stress relief right just being able to stretch and get the body nice and loose all right after you're done with that take your right arm put it behind your head grab take your hand and touch your elbow and then pull down okay you should feel a nice stretch a nice nice stretch you should feel the stretch all in here in your lats in the back area you should feel a nice stretch there you can even lean into it make it feel a little bit better okay you're gonna do the other side just like that okay you can lean with it feel the nice stretch all in your core you see my shirts lifting up okay you should feel the, the nice stretch all up in there okay. and then bring it down okay now we only have two more stretches left and we are at six minutes and 40 seconds, probably because I'm talking your ear off, all right? <laughs> Next thing we're gonna have, if you can see me, is gonna be butterflies, all right? Very simple. Bring your feet together. You're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. And if you feel the stretch in your glutes, in your thighs, adductors, okay? After 10 seconds, you're gonna flap. 10 seconds. Good, after 10 seconds, the last stretch and the most important stretch is going to be what I call hip stretch. You take your right leg, you bend it, and then you stretch it just like that. Okay, you should feel no discomfort in your back. Okay, you should feel everything in your hips. Everything is gonna be in your hips, all right? So your toes is gonna be up, feel the stretch in your hips. Move around a little bit. But those of you who sit for long periods of time, this is kind of like a pigeon stretch. Okay, a more controlled pigeon stretch. You feel it in your glutes, you feel it in your hip flexors. For those of you with back pain, you might feel a little, uh, a nice little release in those, in those hips, all right? You do this for 25 seconds, okay? Then you switch and do the other side. Boom, just like that. Oh, that feels so good. Feels good, especially if you drive a lot. For work right you drive in your commute this is an excellent exercise to kind of release some hip tension in your glutes deeper hip areas glute minimus medius all those little areas is an excellent exercise you know to help loosen up that lower back as well all right so like i said you do that for 25 seconds um you know what i'm saying you do that for 25 seconds and those are basically the stretches all right nothing in there was too complicated it took about eight minutes and 30 seconds between me talking and showing you and explaining to you the exercises. So nothing was too complicated in those exercises, all right? Keep it for 10 seconds. Last exercise, 25 seconds. Do not force anything. Deep breathing. Almost use it as like a meditation or almost like a yoga practice, all right? Don't overdo the stretches. Keep it very simple. But that's the gist of the exercise, all right? That's the gist of the workout, the warm-up, um, the exercise itself, and the cool down and stretch. You do those every day. <laughs> For my newbies, excuse me, for my newbies, you do that every single day or every other day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, and your body will begin to change, to loosen up, to get stronger, and all those little uh, niggles and pains and daily things that you feel, you'll start to not feel them anymore, and you start to become stronger in your selected activities, all right? So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, check out my website, www.trackheadstraining.com, all right? Trackheads with a Z, trackheads training.com you can also follow me on instagram track kids training all right at track kids training the same exact spelling all right if you want to set up a virtual session with me if you want to set up a, a consultation of sorts how you doing then you can follow me um and you can email me in the same way all right so uh yeah have a good day uh and like i said if you have any questions comment below peace